Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little underweight. Uh, everything in there is pretty much normal. Clothing's all good. Lots of food, lots of water. Uh, I'm gonna break that down. And that's what we got. And five pieces of cloth. We have everything we need. Uh, we are day 239 and everything is at five except for ice fishing. And we're early morning. So I got some water on the go here. Um, I was looking. Yeah, I'm going to take all these. I don't remember how much I have in Mountain Town when it comes finally time to do up some of the recipes. But may as well take those. And hmm. Yeah. We were gonna go to the bunker. This will be a nice break from uh, getting your income tax together. Nice. We were going to go check out the bunker. And see if there was a battery. I believe the battery is a guarantee. Ooh. In that bunker. And we can't remember if I had broken that battery down. But we're going to deal with this guy first. We'll just keep the bow out. Ah, let's not. Drives me nuts. Alright, now, to see if I can actually get to the bunker without wasting too much time. I don't remember its exact location, but I know it's over there. And it's probably left versus right. But we'll see. And if there happens to be a bear out here, which there's probably not going to be, uh, we have enough scent that we will crack him. Actually, you know, one of these days I should pay attention to where it is in relation to the bridge. I think it's straight ahead, to be honest. Oh, uh, don't change on us, weather, because... That'll only make this harder. If there's a bear, no. Uh, Murd spent 13 days in this bear cave, which had bones in it. Which means it was the actual bear cave. And he never had a bear up here. So this one is... one of the bears who are not working. Put that away. Uh, we're also not allowed under the gun rules. We have to... Uh, we're allowed to use the bow for, for chickens and rabbits and for self-defense. But we're not allowed to go on the offense with it. Once we get the barbs rifle, 
then we can actively like look out for for moose and bear. Uh, we're out of cattails too, so I'm gonna have to accumulate some. Uh, is it right there? Well, no better time than the present. Is that it? I'll be very surprised if that's where the bunker is, because... I usually get lost when I'm coming out here. Not lost, but, you know... Lost in relation to where the bunker is. We're gonna get a blizzard right away. Can't feel my hands. This is either the bunker or the bear cave. <laughs> Is that the bunker entrance? I think that is. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. We found it. Now hopefully there's a battery in here. a battery. Did I do anything with it? Uh, like, did I move it? I think I might have broke this battery down. I think it was in this room. And I don't see it. But, you know what? We got weather outside, we have to warm up, so why don't we break down these? And yeah, you can hear, it sounds like there's a blizzard going on. And we'll just have a look, maybe there's something under these, who knows, right? Maybe there's not. Let's break this one down. Uh, let's get rid of those. Nothing. All right. I yeah, I'm starting to think that. We broke that battery down when we got here last time. Uh, that is cloth. There's not... I don't think there's going to be anything hidden under that. Uh, there's a can opener that we don't really care about. Some cans we don't care about. Took the water. Alright, and this is a small bunker. I think that was all there is, really. Yeah. Well, no point going outside. I mean, you can hear the wind howling. Is there anything I can break down in here? Um, maybe I'll just take the cloth, I guess. Uh, 
I'm gonna just do them by hand. And have a look. Something's gotta go. Alright. Is there anything in here? Oh, hey, hello. Uh, we never saw that. Well, we got cloth here. Someone left their coffee in the toilet. Uh, let's eat and drink. So we got 15 carrots and, uh, what is it? 5, 10, 15, 20, looks like 20 potatoes. Um, I'm just going to have a peek. I mean, you can hear the blizzard going still, but yeah, it's still a real thing I'm still not confident that the sound has been completely fixed in the game so sometimes you hear what sounds oh oh okay you're a leather okay that's fine uh, let's do that 17 percent on that And it's looking like we're going back to the farmhouse. If this blizzard lets up. Uh, we had a box in here, didn't we? Get rid of you. And we'll break down this broken arrow. I don't really want to spend the night here. I mean, if I have to spend it anywhere, I'd rather be at the farmhouse, but... Alright, that looks good. Let's go. Sounds like it just ended. Uh, you know what? We might have, uh, it might be risky, but we might have enough time. We have an awful lot of alertness because we really haven't done anything in this game day, so. We can go to the cave. Uh, I would like to gather some cattails or some over here. What do we have? Four? Oh, you're not going to show up? We have four. Hey, coach. Welcome in. How you doing today? We got six. So we just checked the uh, Pleasant Valley bunker, the signal bunker, and there was no battery. So we obviously broke it down the last time. Which would probably be the first time that we were here. see any there. Alright, I don't want to go too, too far this direction. I want to go that direction. Maybe we'll just follow the river. Uh, taking out any cattails that we see. And 
and when we get to the road, we'll hang a left, and I think we got enough alertness to get up the rope instead of, like, versus going up the hill. And at that point, we'll decide, are we going to go just to Signal Hill, or, or are we going to go all the way to the cave? And once we're through the cave, I mean, then you're in safe territory, so at that point, it'll be just getting inside of the, uh, the dam. So I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted in the announcements uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be a little bit late. I'm not sure how late, but I have a doctor's appointment at 8.45 my time. So the stream might actually start probably around 11 my time versus 9. How many do we have? You know what? I'm going to put those on the wheel so I can actually see them a lot quicker. So we have 19. All right. Well, let's see if there's any in this little cluster. If there is, we'll take them. If there's not, we'll just carry on. Nada. Yeah, th this appointment is just regular maintenance. Is all. And luckily, it's not too far from my where I live either, so... Normally, I don't like those early morning ones. But it's only like a 10 minute drive. Those early morning ones on the other side of the city are just nuts. Alright. I don't know if there's any more cattails. We'll check this little cluster. Oh yeah, there is. And when we'll head up the rope. Uh, time out. Alright. Sorry about that. I don't think I muted my mic because for some reason... The, uh... It, it left my screen and I couldn't see if it was muted or not. It was just confirmation for my appointment. So we're all on the phone, yeah. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I like it better when they text you, honestly. Because then you have a visual reminder, right? Like a written reminder. It's like having a note. To say, hey, you got some plans. A phone call just seems so old, old school.
All right, what is the time? Yeah, I think, hmm. I think we might just go right to the cave. And maybe sleep at the entrance to the dam. I think. Yeah, the reason I don't like the phone calls, I mean, number one, I mean, yeah, sure they remind you. And if they're doing it the day before, I've had a, I've had a couple of places that have given me a reminder a few days before. I'm like, come on, man, you're supposed to do this the day before. But the other thing is, some of these places don't have their names listed. It was shorter to just go up the hill from the river. I didn't even know you could do that. I've never done that. A lot shorter. Hmm. Well, we're going to take this rope and kill our stamina. Or our alertness, sorry. And that way, by the time we get to the dam, we should be in good shape to go to bed. But yeah, like the phone calls, some some of these places they don't have their their names listed, right? So you don't even know if you should be answering the phone. I like it when they send you a text resp respond with a Y or an N. There you go. I got my alert. I'm done in one second. Nobody's. Let's pull this out. Hey, OG, welcome in. Nobody's been interrupted. Now I want to go back and, uh, Try to go up the hill there. Oh, I guess I get. Uh, that's right. You know what? When you come out of the cave, if you go left, you end up over at that road. Roughly, maybe that's where Coach meant, eh? This was the circle route. <laughs> I think I understand what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should have did that. I'm just not. I mean, I, I, I go that route sometimes, like, you know, from here to there. I don't know that I've ever gone from there to here. So far, it's pretty quiet out here. Not complaining, just saying. I'm not lost. I don't think there's even any wolves. Well, in that case, let's just throw that away. Yeah, just out for a ne nice little leisurely walk. Just before bed. Just in case. I heard something that didn't sound like a deer.
I'm not taking any chances. All right, we're good. You're not even going to troll me. <laughs> Well, if I can get to all the way to the dam, which, I mean, there's no point why I wouldn't. This might be the first time in a long time that Murd won't be able to scare me with the boom headshot right after we cross the ledge. And go figure when he's going to be late and may not be here for it. That's when I remember. I'm anticipating zero coal. I'm going to look in here because I always look, but. We have eight pieces on us, I believe, so I'm not even. I don't even care. We're good. Uh, due to the time of day, uh, when we get to the dam, we will be sleeping in the, the entrance. I don't want to risk going through it and getting caught with an aurora. Because that would just be foolish. And we got a beautiful little sunset. Pink skies. So I don't know why I want that, but honestly, I should uh, if there's still cattails here, I should take them instead. I don't believe there is. Yeah, let's, we don't need that yet. Coach is going to have a beautiful sunset view of his favorite view in the game. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. <laughs> you got fried to a pretzel once in the dam? Yeah, I did too, but... I, I think I've only died once to the wires in the dam, and it was, uh, it was my own fault. It's that one that I get stuck on all the time, and I thought, you know, I was pretty new to the game. I'm like, hmm, I could just run over that. I'll probably take a little bit of damage, but then I got stuck on it. I go, oh, okay. Like, I, I have, for the amount of hours I have in this game, I don't really have the knowledge of how the wires work. Like, is it the entire wire that you can't step on? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's only the, the sparking end, right? 
Oh, Fluffy chased you into the wires. <laughs> That's funny. There it is, coach. It's coming. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. But we know Hinterland doesn't want nice screenshots, so, you know, we gotta wait for these rock faces to get out of the way. There it is. It's beautiful. I, I mentioned before, I was a little disappointed. I saw this view during an Aurora and there's, I don't think there's too enough lights up there. didn't grab me the way the lighthouse did. Mostly because the lighthouse, the, the reason I like the lighthouse so much is because it doesn't just light up. Like you have the spinning light, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, we'll just get, once we get just inside the door there, well, or I guess it's the window. We'll just have a nap. I'll try and repair something as well. We have a whole, we must have a whole bunch. 14 cloth, yeah. Our sewing kit is ruined. So we'll be using fish and tackle, which will take longer and put us probably at a better time to sleep. You know, I had a good mind right just just right now to go back to that little spot there that I go back and forth side to side with every single time and just spray paint the side I'm supposed to go up. Put an arrow over here, dummy. I didn't do it, though. Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Ouch. You're supposed to do it after I get across. Not while I'm crossing. <laughs> I'm telling Murd, you screwed up his thing. <laughs> I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Scared the hell out of me there. Luckily, it wasn't like a. Oh. How would you feel if I fell off? Would you just laugh or would you actually feel bad? I think I'd be mad at first, but I think I would laugh as well. <laughs> uh, we can just use this bedroll. Uh, 92 socks. Fishing tackle should pull it off. Oh, maybe not. It's too dark. Okay, let's eat. We're all out of meat. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I mean, that's kind of the point of that stuff, right? Uh... I don't want to eat those cattails. Did I eat that in whole piece of meat? I did. Well, I got 22. Let's eat two of them. Alright. Uh... Yeah. 
I just wanted to make good and sure I didn't uh, put my bedroll down. I think we can make it through here. I don't believe, like, I think an Aurora can still happen. But it would be for a split second. So I think it's safe to go right now. That's the hallway I usually would encounter. I think that was the hallway I would encounter Fluffy. Or no, it was, she's up on the upper level. But I think I remember her there. That's so long ago, I don't even remember. Like, were you ever safe from her in here? I can't remember. Yeah, so if you if you went through this door, she would end up being on the other area, right? I think. Because, yeah, I think I remember her in that hallway. I think I remember that's where I would always want to fight her. Just kind of glad she's not in here, let's be honest. <laughs> It was always spooky. It's dark. Got all these sounds, and then you hear woof. You're like, uh oh. Throw in a point zero five percent chance of having a damn moose. <laughs> That would be spooky. You just see these eyes glowing that are a little higher up than any other eyes in the game. You see the, the, the glint on one of the horns, the antlers. close to getting our gun. moved over to the side because I thought I heard footsteps. I thought another wolf had come this way. This is obviously my preferred path. Too cold to think. I don't usually follow the tracks. Wait a second. Oh, that's just feathers. Well, what the hell? If I pick them up right now, I will never stop there and question, what the hell is this doing here? At first, I thought it was a blood trail. That's what confused me.
You know, part of me wants, because we're taking the heaviest rifle, part of me wants to take that holster, but at the same time... Oh, man. I don't want to give up the warmth. Uh, you're distracted, so... You're not actually a threat, so by rule, we're not allowed to... Well, I am allowed. I just don't want to. Dumb gun rules. Good gun rules. Uh, we got a doe, so there are probably not going to be any wolves. Let's put that away. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've hit every one of these cattails, but... We saw the other day, I mean, there's, I, I did miss one, so I'm kind of just going to walk amongst the, the grass here. If I see another one that I missed, I'll grab it. If we don't, we'll just keep going. It's windy. I think I got them all. <laughs> you were doing guesses on if I going to find any? We found zero. Yeah, why not, eh? Hey, Darth, did I say hi to you already or did you just get here? We have 20 cattails. Welcome in, Darth. I don't think uh, you said hi yet, so hi. Uh, all right. I know that you're empty. Are you going to fit? Uh, I mean, there's enough space, but good luck. You know, if you can. That works for me. There it is. 4.5. And we have all the bullets. Uh, oh, let's break down that arrow. And now we'll throw these in there. And throw you. Um, how many arrows do we have? We have 12. And our bow is at 34. Too much stuff to carry. We got we gotta have something better than 34. We do. We have a 62. Let's take three.
so we can have 15. Uh, we need to eat. I don't want to eat cattails. Uh, what do we need? Oh, we need a sewing kit as well. And we need to get rid of some of this cloth. There we go. You're at a hundred. Uh, oh. We need a sharpening stone too. Uh, I'm going to keep the sharpening stone on me. I'm just wondering, hmm. Let's go like this. There we go. And... How's our fire? 26, 28. Well, it's not a big percentage jump, but 29 and 31 is better. And that's just that. Um, I'm kind of wondering, like, I'm going to grab some meat and maybe we'll, we'll make up, you know, do an arrow, change the meat, and repeat. We want you. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Because none of this is cooked. Nope. I gotta drop these potatoes and carrots as well. You. Lots of potatoes. Uh, I actually don't even care if these get mixed at this point. Because when we go to Mountain Town, we're just going to grab all of them. Uh, let's take a piece of fur. We need a stick because these matches. Oh, the thing is with this meat, though, it's this doesn't take, you know what? I want this meat to take longer. Let's do that. What is that? 40 minutes. Uh, we'll throw you on for now. All right, it's 45 minutes to make an arrow and 40 minutes for the meat, so this will work out nice. That will click on the workbench. Hey, hey, why? Didn't I pick up three arrow shafts? I thought I picked up three arrow shafts. What's wrong with me? I just picked up three arrow shafts. Why? What? It, what is? What am I missing here? Was I picking up arrows? <laughs> those are arrows, those are shafts. Oh, damn it. Well, you know what? There's no point making arrows if I already have a whole bunch. Um, I didn't want 18. I want to see how many do I have total. I have 18. Okay. We'll do that. I wanted to have 15 arrows.
Well, that explains that. <laughs> I was thinking, when, why, why, why? Oh, that's why. 16. We're just going to do that. And... Since we're not making arrows anymore, we'll do that. Eight minutes quicker. Uh, eat up. I might grab some of that water. Uh, and we don't need to repair anything. We'll repair this. Alright, you're 32 minutes. What are you? That'll go up by point 0.2. That'll go up. Eh, okay, let's do that. 27. That'll work. Alright. Grab a bunch of sticks. I think that should be enough. Twenty-eight. That's good. I'm gonna leave some of these sticks here because we're running low. And let's prepare this. All right, we got meat. We got cattails. We have a little bit of water. I'm gonna grab more. I need two pieces of cloth. You're good for one repair, basically. You know what? Maybe two. Hey, Murd, welcome in. Just in time to see me sharpen the knife. <laughs> Once. Uh, and we want two of those. I think I'm going to load this outside. Um, actually, no, you know what? This one expels the shells every time you shoot. It's the pistol that expels when you reload. All right, we got a lot of bullets. Where are we going? Tell me where we're going. You, you guys kind of, where did, I forget. You know what? I don't need these. I don't need to carry these. I got a bunch of reishi on me, and I'm hoping I'm not foolish enough to, to eat raw predator meat twice in the same stream. Airfield and zone of contamination bear hunting. Could you pick a further location? You know we're not going to actually bear hunt, right? Like, not today. After that, maybe Coastal Highway for beachcombing. Mert's not obsessed. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day. Look at that. It feels like it's plus one. What's our weight? We're underweight. That's a good thing. 
Oh, wait a second. I have a good idea. We can be even more underweight by not taking a hacksaw and a pry bar. We don't need those. Uh, here's our first. Here's our first usage. Darth replaying Wintermute story again. Nice. I like the story. I've said it a few times. I like the story. I'm good with it. Alright, I'm not going to go right inside just because I don't want to wait at the, you know, for the load screen. I will just drop you. Where is this? Alright. Y'all are good there. And we're now at 40. I think story mode's a lot of fun. Some people just flat out don't like it. But I like it. I think the only thing I don't like is the amount of chatter in it. There is an awful lot of talking in that. You can skip it by hitting your space bar, but then every so often it comes up where you have a choice between picking this question or this question. And it, it's not like either of those questions lead you in a different direction like they kind of should you know that would have been nice if they gave you kind of that opportunity like are you going to be the, the nice person or are you going to be the jerk but honestly all of those do is just kind of tick you off because you're sitting there hitting your space bar 800 times. And then, oh, now I gotta go back to my mouse and I gotta aim over there. Hit my space bar 47 more times. Just give me one button that I can skip the whole sequence. After doing it completely once, right? You should always have to do everything that they intended once but there's some some parts of the game where like you know everyone else lets me skip that why don't you it doesn't make me like it anymore it just actually makes me hate it more so that's my only complaint with winter mute you want the spear from the story mode would you actually lug that spear around? Could you imagine if you could use that on a moose? I don't think I would. I mean, I would probably have to... Oh! Sorry, I forgot all about the stretch. Here we go. There we go, copper. That was only 10 minutes ago. Wow, bad streamer. Murd wants coffee time. There you go, Merd. Uh, 
button. You know what? I'm gonna deal with. Oh, is that another one? I'm gonna deal with this guy because I want to grab more cattails. Oh, I didn't realize I was on a tree. I. S oh, there it is. No, it's not. I still would like to have my casing. Uh, is it me? Or is it inside the tree? Oh. believe I missed that. I still want to look for it because I have a feeling it's on top of the, the log, but I'm just not seeing it. There's what I wanted. I wanted to get actually on. I saw it. Got it. All right, let me try this again. Can you zigzag a little bit more? this time. Alright. I, I didn't expect either. <laughs> Alright, come on. We'll make a pile. I'm still taking the casings just in case we somehow magically find a battery. Although there is, I believe it was 71 rifle bullet or rifle casings in Timberwolf Mountain at the Mountaineer's Hut in the workbench. Is that the bear? That's the bear. It, it is when you copper using especially that revolver where it doesn't have the same range as any of the other guns. Um, it is a little different going from that to this. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even happy with my aiming in this yet. It's, it's pretty much the way... Uh, Coach had just said there in that it's it's pretty similar to using the bow. You want to just get your aim like and wait for them to get to that spot. But when they're zigzagging all over, good luck. Um, is he going to come over here? I want to climb up here. Please. Is he gonna come over here or is he just like, yo, dude, we got three bars of scent? Well, let's. Let's not wait all day for him. He just doesn't care. I do prefer the rifles over the, the, like, look at that, over the revolvers. 
I prefer the bow most. But I'll take the rifle. Yeah, I think that bear saw what we did. I think you're right, Mer. The bear saw what we did to the, the wolves and was like, nah. I'll just go about my business. Smart bear. thought we were bear hunting yeah you you wanted bear hunting in uh the airfield or the zone of contamination not forlorn <laughs> i was just following orders i had i had yesterday when i had my nap i had a, i had a long dark dream and it i was in a region the funny thing is I wasn't dreaming that I was playing the game. I was dreaming I was in the game. And it was a region that we don't have yet. And there was a store. And when I came around the corner, there was a polar bear charging us. And I thought, oh, now I'm all on board. I want a polar bear in the game. Do I want to fight you? I don't want to waste my gun on wolves. You know that? Oh, I missed. I missed so much using a rifle. Polar bear and a Bigfoot. Here's my thoughts on a polar bear. I think if you're in like a place like maybe bleak, but but coastal highway, right? Somewhere where you have the ocean out the out. I mean, I don't think there should be a polar bear in Forlorn. But... I think it should hang out way out on the ice. Like, way past where we can actually go. But... You can draw him in with three bars of scent. Right? So it makes it a little more dangerous just in the fact that you have to have three bars to bring him in. He won't come in on two. Because now you also have all the other predators to worry about. But I also think that if he attacks you, I haven't decided if I thought that a polar bear attack should be game ending. Or if it should put you in real serious. Uh oh. <laughs> you know? Binoculars or crossbow. Coach wants binoculars. Copper wants binoculars. Murd wants binoculars. I, 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 you know what? I think if they brought in a polar bear and implemented it that way, where it was, it wasn't hanging out on land. It was way out, and you had to draw it in. I think binoculars would come in handy there. Polar bears are bigger and faster than brown bears. And apparently, meaner too.
somebody that uh, we're not allowed to mention their name because Mer doesn't like it mentioned uh, the fact about polar bears their diet is meat there's there's no vegetation mixed in with that it's meat they don't just maul you and walk away they maul you and then eat you that's why i kind of wonder if a polar bear in this game should be a, a, an attack should be death you're done Thought. Heard. Maybe I didn't. He pulls it out pretty quick. Like he's not, not dawdling like the bow. Sometimes the bow takes forever. But I mean, it's a bow, so why wouldn't it? Polar bears are way more violent. They'll kill anything they think is food. Even if they have heaps of food already. Super carnivores. Can't remember the actual name they have. Yeah, they're not they're not that that cute cuddly animal that Coca-Cola made us all think they were. <laughs> you do not want to encounter a polar bear in the real world. <laughs> if the polar bear attacks you, he rips off one of your arms. Could you imagine now you can't use any of the weapons? You're stuck. Your best bet is your hatchet. It's illegal in some places to lock car and truck doors because polar bears wander the area frequently, need an escape easily. That's actually a really good idea. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Yeah, could you imagine though? You got a polar bear, there's one vehicle, the closest one for you to get into. And it's a tourist who didn't know the rules. <laughs> Now, do you just haul her out sorry from a distance or do you try to get closer so you know that they they understand that you truly are sorry that you just put them in a world of hurt <laughs> oh and i didn't bring a rock i don't trust this spot You can hear why he's coming. I do not trust that spot at all. Oh, where are you going? I don't hear another one. Watch, I have a rock. <laughs> that just shows you how, if, I mean, like, when you have scent, I didn't, when I stopped, I didn't hear him. That's not why I stopped. I just stopped from memories. And when I stopped, that's when I finally thought, oh, I think I hear him. I think he's close.
what if we never broke down the battery that was here? Did we? I remember there was a battery here. I just don't remember what I did with it. And just merge so you know, we did go to the bunker and there was no battery in there. I even broke down all the boxes to try and look behind them. But obviously the battery that was there is been used up. I want to go here because I do. I'm. I'm All right. Hello. What's in here? Just a magnifying glass. Hmm. What's the time of day? You know what? We can't go anywhere right now anyways. I need something to drink. Shoot him out the window. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. How, how, wh what do those gloves get to? 93. And you're 0. 0.9, but you are twice as good. I just wanted to get those repaired so they don't ruin on us. Uh, we got one bear hide there. We have a deer. My memory was that the battery was actually in that initial area that we were at when we walked in. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is a battery here. I think I tore it down. But doesn't hurt to have a peek. Here, nothing. Nada. Oh, could you imagine if the wolves could just jump through the windows? Whoops, that's not number two. That's not what I want, damn it. Yeah, you can shoot them out the window. I just didn't really want to. I don't hear him. We've fired seven shots. And we're at 96. So is it 1% per every two shots? Is that how that works? I know it's kind of close to nighttime, but I don't want to stay here. Hail Green 303 with custom stock, a trucker's companion, durable friend on the open road. 
Reliable beyond all else. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the power it packs, right? I think it's it's got to be just basically the same as the others. I always just assumed that the Vaughn's rifle, because of its speed, and it looks a little smaller, I always kind of thought that it was less powerful, but... All rifles have the same power. That that makes sense, right? I mean, I think we mentioned that yesterday. They all take the same bullets. It's just weight, distance, and reliability, I guess. But I always kind of wondered about the power because of the, the regular revolver's ability to take down wolves seems to be less than it used to be. Yay, we're doing this walk again. <laughs> Thanks, coach. We've already spent 400 days in these two regions. Coach only uses the bow for chickens. Why? It's effective on everything. I used to be extremely reluctant to ever use my bow against them. Like before I started using the guns. But now that I don't really get to use the bow, it's like, well, may as well use it on chickens. I just never... Chickens and rabbits, right? I just never thought, like, from a rabbit... I didn't think uh, the trade-off of the degradation of the bow of the arrow was worth the amount of meat you're getting, but I need to shoot something with the bow, otherwise I will get rustier. Rustier. I am saying that word. I don't even care if it's not a word. Spooky tunnels. Whoops. So night can't be far behind. Uh should we just go right through? To the next cave? I think we should. We'll sleep there. <laughs> if me and any one of you were in this little area and that sound happened, you'd see me looking at you saying, what the hell was that? <laughs> Is there going to be a wolf or... Doesn't look like it. I never drop this way, but I'm going to do it right now. 26 cattails. I think there's lots of cattails in the zone of contamination, right? I think there is.
Every word at one point wasn't a word. People just agreed that a word was a word. Well, let's uh, let's make rustier a thing. Remember that rabbit that scared the hell out of me? <laughs> Come through here, rabbit comes running out. <laughs> What's the word, bird? Earth responds. Everybody knows the bird is the word. nine. I'm going to say five. Uh, where do I go? Today's word is something that I can't pronounce. It starts with a U. Okay. Up was the wrong. Am I getting myself lost? Oh, I'm in here. I wasn't expecting to come in here. Okay. Is there no coal in there? <laughs> Coach says 13. Didn't we establish you're not allowed to pick 29 and 13? <laughs> hey, guess what? I know where I am. I gotta go up this way. I remember. I was wondering why did it sound a little bit like we had a bone scraping on the ground. I guess we don't have any issues, so... I mean, we have issues, but not those types. Uh, what's the time of day? It's night. Tis night time. Uh, all right. Well, let's just, uh, I don't typically sleep in these spots, but let's do this. Not sure why I feel so tired. And I don't have anything I want to repair. Uh, we can eat some of these. I kind of don't want to sleep yet. I mean, it's not really, really nighttime, but we'll eat till we have 20 left. That's a good number. Oh, and I forgot to grab more water. Dang it. All right, that's just 10 hours. Uh, let's do that and we're just going to pass time 
And I think that's enough to sleep for an hour. <laughs> Puts him on the wheel, never uses the wheel. Well, if you've seen me eat cattails from the wheel, or if you've done it yourself, it's not fun. It takes longer. I just like them to show up on the wheel so I can have a quick glance without actually doing anything. You know, like, oh, whoops. There. Okay, now I have already screwed myself. There we go. Okay, I got my bedroll. Let's go. Oh, how much coal did we find? We have 13, and we started with 8, so we found 5. What did I say? I said four, didn't I? <laughs> Y'all are trying to get your number in right now to get a win. <laughs> yeah, you cheated, Murd. You played by coach's rules. <laughs> coach is the only one allowed to cheat that way. According to coach. I don't even remember what my number is. I know I said either four or five. I don't remember which number I chose, though. Twenty nine's a given, but if it's a small cave, I can choose a different number. You thought I said six copper? Maybe. I'm trying to get a wind block over here. This is looking nasty. Whose idea was this? Dumb coal count rules. Coach is trying to come across as being the grumpy old man, but... He's actually like one of the nicest people ever. <laughs> can't fool us, Coach. We know you too well. Anything I can do while we warm up? Oh, this isn't even a very warm cave. Well, we got lots of coal. Let's do that. Freezing. Do I not have any sticks? Dang it. Ah, three is good enough. We're gonna be using a chunk of coal anyway. Is that where I was? Oh yeah, I wanna yeah, I wanna just go right here. Come on. Come on. Let's do that. We need water anyways, so As you can see, I accidentally hit number four. 
Three. Well, we're just gonna boil water. So we got now four. It's the time of day. It's still morning. Okay, it's over. Let's cook up one of these. Why not? Now is that wolf going to be out there now? Just in case. We will be ready. Alright. Let's... Make sure we get a couple of sticks too. You can have all the coal in the world, but if you ain't got a stick. I kind of don't want to fight this guy. I mean, we have 105 bullets. It's not like he's going to deplete our ammo. But if we can get around them without firing a shot, why not, right? There you go. <laughs> Thank you for that sacrifice, Mr. Bunny. Yeah, and that's primarily, uh, where are they all? These two here are primarily just for, for hot drinks. Actually, yeah, it says miner for that and miner for that. Did I not kill that wolf the last time I was through here? I don't think that wolf appeared. I don't really remember though. I just noticed I only have two of those matches left. I've been using the matches because we found them, so I thought, why, why not, right? Ooh, Murd, I wonder if I could ask you to do us a favor. You don't have to. No obligation to do so. But if you know the amounts of 
uh, the teas because it looks like some of the tea has different uh, amounts of vitamin C than others. If you would be so kind to go into Discord and post that information, that would be really nice of you. But you don't have to. Y'all are never obligated to do anything. Except say hello if you ever come here. We're still getting a one bar up. That's good. Uh, do we have lantern fuel on us? We do have a little bit. Where is it? Right there. Oh, may as well. Lantern feels like your belly and food, right? You, why, why carry it in the backpack if it can be in your belly or if it can be in the lantern? What are y'all saying hello for? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> see, that was me not paying attention to what I was talking about. Coach, did you just give Copper another gift sub? Why didn't I hear an alert? Did you guys see an alert? I haven't even heard it. Thank you so much for that, by the way. I appreciate it. You heard the alert, Copper, or did you just see the alert? Because due to my setup, I can't actually see the alerts, but I can hear it if they go through. And I went on my sound alerts today and made sure that they were all working. And it said everything was fine. But thank you so much for that, Coach. I appreciate that. That's... I've said before, gifting a sub is like the, the, the kindest thing a person can do. Very, very much appreciated. So you all saw the alert, you didn't hear it. Okay. Oh, I wonder what's up with that. Maybe it's just delayed and it'll scare the hell out of all of us in five minutes. All right, do you want the airfield first or do you want the zone of contamination? Because we're, we're right at the zone. I mean, we can just walk through there, right? Coach wants the airfield. Coach is just in the mood today. Like, now nah, you're going for a walk. <laughs> Walks are nice. Sometimes. How many cattails? 28. 
That would have been way cooler if I looked and it said 29. And then you want me to take the cave to the zone of contamination. Why? You think I'm going to get lost? We already took that cave just recently. This is where back in the old days, people would be like, thank you very much. <laughs> We will go there. I think I only mildly got lost last time. That cave is marked, but I don't think I marked it quite as well as I could have. Uh, it's not very cold, so I'm not going to stop and warm up. Did I already try this before? And Okay, I'm up. Uh. What are we at? 31? 32. Well, if you have 32, why don't you have 40, right? I don't think I see any. All right, let's just go. Did I ever go to the cave here? What cave? Is there a cave in here? Where? Is it to my left when I'm looking at the, the train station or is it to the right? It's to our right? I don't know that I was aware there was a cave. Just looking, I thought I heard term again. I definitely heard term again. Like right as in against this wall or right as in way over that way. Follow the wall. Hmm. Have you ever even seen me go to this cave? I don't recall there being a cave. The only thing I remember is uh, the zone of contamination spot. Well, we've been out here. I might have. We took a sapling. <laughs> Why do you think I'm mentioned a cave? Yeah, I get it. Uh, it's not up here, right? No. If we went into this cave and there was like four batteries. Or there's one battery, but it's a glitched battery like that one we had at the Quonset. Remember that? And we got like 16 batteries before I just gave up on it. I missed that. Oh my. Hello. Oh, I 
You know, bugs are one thing, but when a bug is like working in your favor, you just kind of wish everyone would shut up about it. <laughs> Three rose hips. Where do they go? So if you grab these three, uh, no, that wouldn't work because that one in uh, is it bleak that has that one rose hip in the truck usually, and you're like, where are they? What? I guess these days, no, though, now with the ingredients, that's actually not a waste. Glitched rifles there one time. Yeah, I remember, uh, I, had, I think I had two barbs rifles and no curators if I remember correctly, which should shock you all, because when do I remember correctly ever? Um, I want more sticks. I'm going to go to the train station and drop off this sapling. I don't need to take it with us. You had three bonds. Oh, I would have been in happy place right there. these ones uh, Murd, I'm not sure if you saw I'm gonna let you know uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be late I'm not sure it might be two hours late But that's purely a guess. I don't know how long my doctor's appointment will be. So hopefully y'all can make it. Nafo <laughs> remembered something. The world's about to end. I can only be later if I have a note. <laughs> Do I have saplings? Those are all birch. There's maple. We'll get rid of you. We have one reishi mushroom on us now. Um, yeah, let's just keep that the way it is. And how many cattails? We have 36. Is this the wrong door? I should know. Since I literally just went into it. You said you were going to be late anyways, right? You have the last tram into the station. Nice. Into the depot. Are we taking the goat? Or are we walking the path? And we've been to... 
the airfield enough times that I'm gonna ask is there any spots in the air in the airfield that you guys know that I haven't been to coach is saying the path coach wants to prolong this <laughs> Darth is saying goat I can do the goat I know the goat it's before the two spots that uh, I used to think it was Better find some water. You know what? Let's uh, give them some food and water. Hey, look at that. You know what? I have another chunk of meat. Why don't we just do that too? That helps out even more. How many sticks do we have? 14. Oh, for those of you who weren't here in the in the beginning of today's stream, um, I, I checked the Pleasant Valley uh, signal bunker and there was no batteries. And I, I forgot to mention, I did find a cup of coffee in the washroom, which apparently I missed last time. So, I mean, it's that right there kind of made it worthwhile going there. In It was in the washroom by the toilet on a shelf above the toilet and I don't know how I missed it maybe because when I went in there I'm not expecting to find a cup of coffee you go around that corner and you're just kind of looking down at the at the toilet to grab the water and don't really look up. I don't recall ever actually finding that coffee either, but... It's very possible I just don't remember finding it. These, these runs are a few months apart for me to go there. So... It's the time of day. It's almost nighttime. I might go just because of the time of day. Unless Coach has a specific reason why he wants us to take the path. If it's just to make it take longer, then I'm going to go. Maybe a battery at the blue trailer. Didn't we check there already though? Well, I said if you have a legit reason, I'll take the path. So, okay, fine. Yeah, I think I did get that battery though. Because, yeah, when we came through here last time, I didn't go to either. And we came out here specifically looking for batteries, so we stayed on the path. We made sure we checked all the vehicles. <laughs> so we're goating, I guess, right? All right. 
Should I just auto walk off the cliff? Make sure I'm not. <laughs> that way if I, if I fall it's on Darth <laughs> hey I've taken two two routes on a regular basis before I was told that I was not actually taking the proper goat location and all we did was fall. Remember that one time where I was like, I just wanted to have a look? <laughs> and I just stood there like, oh, I don't want to die. Just a little hop. You know, it's nice of Hinterland to stick these little... I don't know if they intend on doing this or if it just happens to work out that way. But it's... It's nice that they put these little shortcuts into these areas. It would be nice if they would, like, put a shortcut out as well. <laughs> Darth's wondering why he's going to get blamed. Why not? Uh, what was I at again? 36? I might have to drop some gear. I'm just going to take all of these ones that we encounter. Because I'm not sure that we're ever actually coming through here again. And it looks like we got all those and all those. But not all these. What do you mean there's a teleportation spot in Pleasant Valley near the signal bunker? It'll teleport you to the mine that goes to Coastal Highway. Really? That's not true, is it? I remember uh, early DLC People were getting teleported in caves. Oh, there's even more. How many were at 53? I didn't really feel like taking more, but if I take these, we don't have to grab cattails for a while. So I may as well take them. Because now we do actually eat the cattails as opposed to just collecting them like we kind of used to. So because of the scurvy deal, we do have to make sure we're eating. Here and there. I'm not, I don't know that I'm ever going to pay attention to like how many days it's been between 
eating them. If you go over the hill at the signal bunker, there's a great void. If you fall into it, it takes you to the entrance of Coastal Highway. Interesting. And you don't lose any of your items? Ooh, it's almost nighttime. Interesting. I don't know that I would actually go and do it, but... Just remember the cattails are a part of your daily part of a balanced diet. Yeah, roughage. Can't just eat meat anymore. Uh, should I go this way and just hop the fence? Why not? May as well grab a stick or three. Can I get up this one? I think I've been on this. Almost. <laughs> and here comes a puppy and ruins it. Damn you puppy, I was having fun. We'll just go this way. I could get up that hill. We were up, up that fence. We were pretty much there, but interrupted by a puppy, so. Well, I'm gonna end this here, so for those of you on YouTube who are watching, I thank you, and I will see you all tomorrow.